in order for you to understand how this all works. So, you are an eternal consciousness. Eternal. We can't find a bigger, longer word than that. You are forever. You never cease to be. You are a consciousness that expands and it is the expansion that gives you the most delight. It's how we all are. We are all that consciousness and we cannot really accurately separate the consciousness that is us from the consciousness that is you. We are consciousness delighted in expansion. Humans call that consciousness God, but you mess it up when you do. So this consciousness stands in non-physical. You don't even know what that means. It means non-conditional. It means energy, not translatable, all of it. You stand in this non-physical consciousness and you decide to focus yourself into an environment that is more tangible. And because you're so good at it, you become a physical fetus and then a physical human being. And you are born into an environment that is substantial, that has a platform that you can bounce off of. And you bring this pure consciousness that is you into this environment because you know those that have been living before you came into your body have created an environment that will stimulate you to new ideas and you took delight in that so you come into the body and you sift and sort and without even consciously knowing you're doing it because your human brain and your human personality has not matured to the place that you're really making big comparisons with lots of momentum you're just li living in this environment of well-being, but you are perceiving and you are coming to your own conclusions and you are launching vibrational rockets of desire and you are expanding. So the consciousness that was you before you came into this body is expanding now that you are in this body and because you are in this body. So now let's go back over to that consciousness that is expanding because you are in this body and because you are launching these rockets. You have become so much more as consciousness since you've been in this body. And that source that is you feels the fullness of what you've become and revels in it constantly, delights in it continuously, basks in the perfection that is you. Feel that just for a minute. That's what worthy feels like if you can find it basks in the perfection that is you and it is that feeling it's that pulsing vibration that you are always reaching for that's what we want you to soothe yourself to we want you to soothe yourself to because when you accomplish that being here oh you'll all get there when you croak <laughs> off you'll go and there you'll be happy for all that you've become but we don't think you should have to croak in order to experience out here at this pointed leading edge the fullness of all that you've become you see so so then we want to ask you why do you define yourself through lackful terms when you've become all of this well it's because you've trained yourself to look through physical eyes we're wanting to train you to feel through vibrational senses we want you to feel your way to it, not think your way to it. Find the feeling and then let the thoughts follow. That's what that soothing is. And so you say, how do I do it? Yeah. You do it by saying, it's all right. I'm just fine. All is well. They're there. Everything's all right. Perfect place. Perfect time. This is who I am. I was born to be here. I'm on my path. This is the trajectory of who I am. I'm pure positive energy. Everything's just right. I could not be doing it better. I'm following inspiration. I'm getting better at that all the time. Pure positive energy surrounds me. I'm adored. This environment that surrounds me inspires me to more. I'm constantly achieving it. I never get it done. I can't get it wrong. All is really well with me. I feel good so much of the time. Pure positive energy surrounds me. All is well. It's all right. It's all right. Everything's all right. I'm doing just fine. I'm doing really good. Source adores me. I feel the inspiration all the time. Ideas are flowing. 
I receive the ideas. I get inspiration. Sometimes I don't feel like doing something. That's inspiration too. Sometimes I want rest. That's inspiration too. Sometimes there's more resistance than I can overcome. That's all right. It will return. There's an ebb and flow in all of this. Sometimes I have more resistance. I know it. I feel it. Sometimes I have less resistance. I know it. I feel it. Everything's working out just fine. I've put it in the vortex. It is inevitable. My well-being is assured. I'm supposed to be having fun here. Life is supposed to be fun. My yeah. inner being is delighting in the life that I've carved out. It's yeah. time for me to delight in the life that I've yeah. carved out. In other words, it's just yeah. talking to yourself like that. Yeah. No specific terms, just general terms. Yes. We want to ask all of you, do you create your own reality? Yes. Is this a vibrational universe? Yes. Are you singular here in your physical body? Are you more? Yes. Is there, is there, are your emotions, are your emotions an indication of the blend of the perspectives of you? That's the thing that you got to get your head around. You have a source energy perspective that you've got to blend with if you are to be happy. Oh, we can't say it more clear. You have a source energy perspective of everything and especially a perspective of you that you have got to in your now blend with if you are to be happy. Yeah. You cannot look at yourself in bogus ways and be happy. You cannot argue for your limitations and be happy. Yeah. You cannot beat up on yourself about what you should have done or even what you should be doing right now and be happy. Yeah. You've got to make peace with yourself. You've got to make it all right where you are. It has to be all right that you don't make your bed and it has to be all right that you lay there all day if you feel like it. It has to be all right. You have to stop letting other humans who need you to do conditional things so that they can be conditionally happy guide you away from what true love is, you see. Yeah. And as you get there more often, you'll stay there more. And, and then those moments when you're not there will just be the freaky moments that they are. And you'll just laugh about it. You'll find yourself laughing at things that you used to get mad at. You, they'll just be funny. <laughs> they'll just be funny. That You'll laugh at things that used to irritate you because, because your energy will just keep shifting and shifting and shifting. The source, your source, your inner being never takes eyes or attention from you. Now that could make you feel a little on the spot. <laughs> in other words, everything that we are is happening right here in this moment where you are right here in this moment where you are. And so we want you to sort of get used to the importance that you are in other words along with uh, we want you to in other words through through what you are we're perceiving life and you can't mess it up for us but the fact that we're perceiving so strongly through you if you're not on our wavelengths you won't feel good did we get there for you if we would turn our attention away from you, you could feel any way you want about anything. You could be as hard on yourself as you want and you'd never feel bad because there wouldn't be any comparative experience. But because source is so clearly, powerfully, constantly focused on your well-being and who you are, when you don't let yourself receive that, you don't feel good. And that's what you've been trying to say to us since you sat in that chair. Yes. Every word that you said, that's what you were talking about. Yes. Yeah. So what do I do? You say, chill yeah. out, <laughs> chill out, be easier, have more fun. Try to feel about yourself like we do. When, 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 when you don't get out of bed, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. We're not saying, oh, she didn't get out of bed again. She didn't get out of bed again. We had such high hopes for her. We had such high hopes for her. And there she is not living up to her potential. How much potential can she possibly live up to if she doesn't get out of bed? That's a 
exactly what is going on in my mind. Like, why I didn't get up? But you oh see, that's God. your Genius. translation. That's your translation. And yeah. you couldn't feel that way if we if we were not there loving you anyway. In other yeah. words, that, that's that contrast that we're talking about. Yeah. Don't you feel like letting yourself off the hook? Yeah. Don't you feel like letting everybody else off the hook? Yeah. Don't you feel like just go, looking for love in the right places for yeah. a while? Yeah. Not being so conditional in everything that you're doing and yeah. just yeah you came yeah. for fun you yeah. came for the when you're really good at something and you are wouldn't you yeah. want to be born in an environment where you could be really good at it mm -hmm. look at the resources that surround you don't you want to let them formulate to please you and that's yeah. what happened to Esther with this castle yeah that's what happened she's standing in the middle of it looking at its magnificence and saying to herself who I must have done something right who <laughs> she could feel she's having deja vu all day every day as she realizes how many things have been in her vortex that are culminating in this physical manifestation so now be careful as we present this to you because because Esther wasn't looking it found her it found her the path found her that's a key for you when you're looking so hard to get on your path you're putting up resistance that keeps you from finding it if you can take this worthiness that we accomplished here together you were feeling it you were you were feeling it and you can accept that that's your point of attraction and that your path is coming to you and that your singular work is to keep from putting the resistance up which means whenever you feel a little resistance going up soothe it soothe it soothe it as best you can if thoughts come to you like I should be doing different say right out loud to yourself I'm doing just fine if someone else says you should be different than you are say right out loud I'm doing just fine I'm on my path my path is coming to me everything's unfolding perfectly for me you see these things we know about you we know the contrast that you've been sifting and we know what you put in your vortex but even more than that we know who you were coming in we also know the tendencies you have of setting up resistance for yourself and every word that we've been speaking from the moment that Esther would allow us to speak has been to help you release or reduce the resistance that is the only thing that is keeping you from the moment in time that feels the way the moment in time is supposed to feel to you the moment in time the way the moment in time does feel to the source within you we've got an opinion about how you're supposed to feel and we feel that way it's time for you to feel your way to the way we feel about the things you're doing in every moment you get that